Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And welcome back. Uh, if you're a subscriber, if you're new, welcome to the channel. Um, today we're gonna be doing a quick tutorial, and I'm gonna show you guys how to install um, LSPDFR, the new version, uh, 0.4.9, Reshade, Quan 5 for single player, which 3.0, and um, Reshade, um, RTGI, which is a ray tracing mod. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, you're gonna need Open IV and you're gonna need Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, my the path to my Grand Theft Auto 5 is on the C, is on my C drive, C um, program 5 x86 Steam, Steam Apps Common Grand Theft Auto 5. If you install it, um, with the default settings that's gonna be your pathway okay so that's the pathway we're gonna use that's the pathway I use and this is a clean copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 you don't need a clean copy but you need to have um, not too many mods in there especially you shouldn't have no graphic mod in there because that could cause a problem all right when it comes to um, LSPDFR you should be fine it's just a manual update a manual um, install so it would be good if you do it for a clean install and it also work if you do it as an update it works both ways all right guys so let's get into this so we got our Grand Theft Auto 5 open right here so the first thing we're gonna do is as you can see in the middle of my screen on the top I have all the mods right here situated in a line so we're gonna use it um, use them just like this so that way we don't get confused all right so LSPDF 4 is open close that um, you need a, um, a zip file um, a zip manager so you need something like WinRAW um, JZip uh, anything in that um, nature right and it will, you will be able to um, unzip these files and be able to extract the documents that you need uh, okay so let's go ahead and everything under licenses we're gonna select that alright just like so we're gonna drag it into the white space in the window of Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, drag it in like so. Do not drag it into a folder like say um, installers or anything because that's gonna put the, the files in there and you're gonna mess your whole game up. Trust me, do it like this. One quick thing before you actually um, begin modding, quickly before you begin modding, please make sure that. Um, you copy over your files if you have anything in it copy it over make a copy you see I have copies here I have one, a clean copy and I have a main file uh, and I'm using this clean copy to show you the installing alright so let's go back into that folder and we have um, Grand Theft Auto, um, LSPDFR installed right now so we're gonna exit out of it and first thing we're going to do is go to LSPDFR LSPDFR configurator and we're gonna hit next we're gonna show licenses. It's gonna show us the license. It give us a five seconds. Hit accept, and then it's gonna access to disable um, version text rendering. You just said do that for me, and that should be it. It's done. It, it's installed successfully, and hit OK. That's complete. Now, if you want to change keys, you go here, and here you can change your keys. Um, you can choose controller. You can choose modifying keys. Uh, you can choose whatever. Um, key function you want from your keyboard alright so you can set it up however you want to and you could disable some by using none and that will disable it and then you could enable your plugins to match um, whatever your desires are without having um, conflict okay so for now I'm gonna leave that as that and then you go to LSPFR down here make sure it's this file right here you just double click that open it up here on where it says main preload all models you're gonna hit false so you're gonna erase all lowercase like so alright I'm gonna leave the rest of it like that and then um, my personal preference is down here where it says flashlight override we're gonna hit true for that that says false we're gonna hit true or else it's gonna give you an error every time you use a flashlight and when it says disable escape suspect encounter click true on that as well or else every two seconds it becomes very annoying where a uh, suspect will just show up out of nowhere and it's a problem you could be in the middle of a case it's, it's annoying 
you will always be chasing this guy all right so it makes the game look like a game it doesn't make it feel real all right realistic all right so that's done so we're finished with lspdfr and you can uh delete that file okay now we're gonna go into our quan 5 3.0 but before we do that we're gonna open up open iv so when you click open iv you're gonna click windows when you're first doing it um it would ask when you first install it it would ask for the path so the path that we discussed earlier is the path that you would use and it would take you into a window like this now we have to hit edit mode and we're gonna have to install a couple of plugins to make sure that edit mode work perfectly so we click on esi manager on the top and as you can see it pops up with an esi loader install open iv.esi install um, allow edit mode only for archives inside mods folder and open camera install so that way all of your edits will go straight into the mod folder and it created a mod folder for you as well all right guys so let's get into this all right so i'm gonna drag this to the side and now i'm gonna open up quant 5 single player 3.0 this is a paid mod okay guys so um, I'll try to put the link in there to um, re um, to the page so then you can go in there and you can purchase this if you want to and uh, yeah we'll get into the other links as you go forward okay so I'll also put in the LSPDFR link in there as well I suggest you use manual it's very more simpler to do and it's easy for you to install or delete a file and reinstall the whole grant of photo five with ease compared to as using the automatic installer because it goes into your registry and then it becomes uh, it could easily become corrupted where you would have to probably um, reset your PC stuff like that so to escape all of that headache do manual mode it's very simple very easy it's quicker than um, the other installer if you install me um, if you ask me so now we're gonna go to the install file and we see it says quant5 install.openiv you're gonna drag that in onto the white portion and here you're gonna see a window sh um, show up you're gonna hit install into the mods folder install and that's gonna install um, I have a pretty fast computer so it should do it pretty quickly and it should put all the files that we need right in there complete close and we're gonna go back using the up we're gonna go back out of it and we're gonna go into optional and performance quality preset um I like to use the default very high which is the default that's what I use so uh, I'll drag that in there and we're gonna install that as well that should be a pretty quick install we have to put it into the game folder and it's gonna go directly into the game folder meantime we're gonna come out of there and we're gonna go now into optionals and we're gonna use bright emergency lights and we're just gonna use the open IV to install that as well we're gonna take quant5 brighter emergency lights that ORV and we're gonna drag that in to our open IV as well all right so what happens is sometimes after you install a mod open IV would not allow you to just drag another mod in there so you just click in any part of open IV to activate it up then you go back in and do your thing all right so that's complete and yeah that's all I put in all right I don't put nothing else in there I don't put in the whole uh, system in like remove coronal or anything like that or disable volume lights at night I don't do none of those extras exactly what I just showed is what I put into the game and all right so now let's exit that we're finished with quant5 um if you want you can delete it but since it's a paid mod i would suggest you save it all right i have copies of a copy of it already so i'm gonna delete mine all right so now we move on to reshade so we're gonna we don't need open iv anymore so we're gonna um disable edit mode we're gonna exit out of that all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna also 
for the meantime we're gonna close our grand total of our folder as well alright now we're gonna click on this reshade icon alright that's the first thing we're gonna do and we're gonna hit select a game and manage its reshade installation All right, so now we see all the games in the system shows up. So we're gonna look for Grand Theft Auto 5. Now what you want is the first one. All right, so this one up here, the execute. We're gonna click on that. It usually for me, I don't know if it does it for everyone. It would show the second version. Make sure it's the first one because that's the one that's currently in use. If you use the others, that's the one that you named, and you don't want to mess those up in any way. So use the top version. Make sure that's highlighted, and then we're gonna hit use selected application now the only thing that I install is the standard effects and sweet effects alright I don't put nothing else in I don't put none of the, nothing else in alright and then you hit ok it's gonna do its thing it's finished you hit ok and it said that it was successful so reshade is now installed successfully alright so now we're gonna go back into our grant for a file folder and now we could um, delete reshade reshade is free the link will be in the description as well now we go into our paid mod which is the reshade ray tracing mod this mod is very beautiful it changes the whole game it changes the lighting it changes everything in the game you want this in your game it's a paid mod it's kind of under um, more expensive side for a mod but uh, it's pretty worth it in my opinion this was gifted to me by Captain Prox his information and his office channel would be in the description he do very good LSPD for gameplay as well another gameplay so check him out anyway so let's get into this so now as you open up Grand Theft Auto 5 you will see um, E and B on the top right here and then you see reshade reshade um, shaders at the bottom you're gonna hit reshade shaders right just like so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select these two files shaders and textures and we're gonna drag it into the white portion all right as well boom and that's it it's installed you exit out of that and you save this mod all right and there you go make sure it's saved because I just um recycled mines I have another version of it so I recycled mine so now we're gonna get into this game and we're gonna check it out now it's a trick to getting into this game right so now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into Grand Theft Auto 5 right I suggest you restart your um, PC after this phase and then you follow these steps that I'm showing you if you want the best results so you open up Grand Theft Auto 5 folder then you look for the rich plugin hook you click on that this is gonna start right we are just gonna do this because we're gonna always do this for a, a first time initialization um, if you did not back up your game and you, you didn't want to I best um, I suggest that you best hit yes here and back it up alright uh, so you can revert it later alright it's gonna create a file in the grant to photo file folder and then you can revert it later make sure you save this copy of the file though and you don't change it later on because you might be lose the ability to revert alright that's why I suggest that you make a copy of the whole folder and copy it as painstaking as it might be as long as it might take do it is the best results you will have in the end when you're ready to change all it takes is just changing the name and starting up your game alright so the console key which you need in case you want to go on duty quickly and stuff like that is F4 um, I will keep mine as the um, plug-in timer threshold 2 Ten thousand, but I suggest you change this to six thousand because it works better that way. All right, um, plugins. You're gonna hit. Um, they said load these plugins on startup. Boom. But then we're gonna hit load all plugins on startup. So when you install plugins, it's gonna load all on startup. Sometimes if a plugin does not work, make sure you come back to this page by um, hitting tab when you um, start up Rage plugin. You hit tab, it opens this page. You go in here and you change this setting back to load all plugins on startup to make sure that everything loads properly or while um, you click on the rage plugin icon and it's about to load you click on the gear in the bottom and it takes you straight to this page all right so now we hit save and launch and it's going to launch the game and it's going to crash because it has quant5 in there and you have to hook into the game literally hook into the game uh, the manual way in order to get the game to work 
and you have to do this every time so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that and the trick behind it now we're just doing it for the first time so this is how you do it see so I feel it, uh, my steam didn't launch but anyway the point was that we had the rage plug and hook um, set up all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to use our original icon that we used to start the game and we're going to start grand to 405 all right and we're going to leave this window open just like so make sure you leave it open make sure rage plug and hook is in sight because you have to do this fairly quickly you don't want to waste time and you will have to probably redo it again all right so right here you hit alt tab just like so alternate on your keyboard and tab all right and then uh, make sure it's the left left alt tab then you're gonna click rich plug and hook like so and rich plug and hook is gonna start see like that and then you're gonna go back into grant um, grant to photo 5 like this just like so grant to photo 5 now it's starting up and it's starting up with you see everything is loading it has reshade 4.9 in store and now we're gonna um, do the tutorial for reshade 4.9 so we're gonna hit the home button um, as you can see Rage is loading as well so it hooked in properly that's how you're gonna do the game every time you play this game it's very easy and simple it's a little extra step but it's worth it All right now you're gonna hit home alright and you're gonna for me I skipped the tutorial I just hit continue um, it shows this in pink because we changed the, re um, the settings on it and then we're gonna hit continue the settings that I use I only use fake HDR I use AMD Fidelity FX and I also now will be using RTGI global illumination this is a ray tracing mod that you pay to put in so that's the three settings that I use and I hit continue um, for the ray tracing you can change ray tracing effects down here where my um, mouse is you could um, push it up higher um, by just going up and the higher you go the more of a ray tracing effect you get and the more glittery effect um, glow of the lights will look a little more realistic but it will also affect your FPS so if you don't want it um, to see it that crazy you turn it down and the FPS should be alright all right. so I'm gonna use mine just, just about a 60 here uh, 11 here and a 5 right here or the amount of rays that I want all right uh, enable precise light spreading you want to do that um, if you want you could do enable simulation of back face lighting and alternate intersection test all those other good stuff there's a lot in that mod so you could just go through it like that do what you need to do right there and then you have the other mods that you put in there like the fake AGR you can change the settings up here all right I'll leave this like that I hit finish and then I hit the home button again and it, everything goes away then I want to double click on the screen one two not quickly just to make sure that it loads in or else sometimes it doesn't load in all the way and as you can see we are in the game so if you also go to the precinct right now we would be able to go in straight into the precinct as you can see the ray tracing effect on the game like so you can see it in the lights um, it's kind of bright so let's put on let's change it change the time to a dark time alright so now it's night just like so and we're gonna also spawn a police car so you can see the lights 